Hey guys, Bob Morial here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're talking with Joe Gibbs, Driven Racing Oil, at PRI to talk about oil consumption and how it can be improved. Hey guys, it's Bob here, and we were here last year at PRI talking with Lake from Joe Gibbs, Driven Racing Oil. We had a problem with one of our cars that we used to teach with. It's a 2006 BMW M5, it's a V10, and it's a well-known issue with the car. It has an oil consumption issue. So basically, it was consuming about one quart every 1,000 miles. According to BMW, that's perfectly normal. Now, the factory oil was a recommended Castrol, I think it was a 1060, fully synthetic, and I approached you and I said, I'm a little worried, that's a high consumption. What do you think and is there something better? And you said, use FR50, which is a 5W50. Right. Which probably sounds somewhat counterintuitive mm -hmm. to go to a lighter viscosity oil when you're having oil consumption. Yep. But I'll be talking about that at that time, what the reason for the higher consumption mm -hmm. is due to the shearing of the oil. Okay. Yep. Right? And one kind of easy way to kind of see about oils is the wider the split between the number before the W and after the W. Yep. And by the way, W doesn't stand for weight. Okay. It stands for winter. Winter, yep. Um, that big split is usually accomplished by using what's called viscosity index improvements. Okay. And these are polymers they put in the oil that basically expand mm -hmm. as temperature increases. Okay. One thing you gotta keep in mind is all oils get thinner mm -hmm. as they get hotter. Okay. Nothing gets thicker as it gets hotter. Makes sense. Right? So this, as these viscosity index improvers expand as the oil is heated, mm -hmm. they help decrease that drop. Okay. Right, so that drop's not like falling off a cliff. Right. It's maybe more of a gradual slope down. Yep, absolutely. Right, so the, that's an important thing, obviously, absolutely. for maintaining yep. um, oil pressure. Right. Especially in your engine, mm -hmm. right, when you have variable valve timing. Yep. It's hydraulic control. Yep. So now you're basically using the oil as a hydraulic fluid, yeah. right? So yeah. when you're under high pressure through small orifices, mm -hmm. that's shear. Yeah, it's shear, So what Absolutely. happens is some of those polymers can be ripped. Okay. And as they rip, they lose some of that thickening ability. Okay. So now the oil reverts back or drifts towards its inherent yep. base, base oil viscosity. Sure. So you're like, all right, but how does that have anything to do with sure. oil consumption? Okay. All right, well, here's the simple answer. So as the oil shears, it's getting thinner. Right. But where does the oil that gets on the cylinder wall come from? From the bearing. Right. Yeah. So now I'm throwing more oil. Thinner oil, more oil. Right, up at on the, the cylinder, cylinder wall. wall. Right? Yep. So that low tension ring that helps you achieve higher RPMs. Yeah, it's an 8,500 RPM motor. Right. Or 8,350, I think. It's now drowning in oil. Yeah. So it's you know it's kind of like hey I've got one bucket and I can keep this buck this boat dry yep. as long as I'm only getting in X amount yeah. of water I can right. bucket out I'm I'm right. equilibrium. What's happening is as the oil shears you lose that equilibrium. Right. And now I've got way too much yep. oil getting up there. The rings can't control it, so you're leaving more oil on the cylinder wall. wall, which is being consumed. And Another thing too is. All these engines have um, you know, positive crankcase ventilation valves. Yep, yep. The more oil is being slung around there, the more oil missed in the crankcase, yep. which is sucking that out. And so you're getting consuming rid of it. it both ways. Yep, getting rid of it two ways. So that explains it. So we saw like a 50% uh, improvements in the consumption rate. Right. It's huge. And, and even though a 550 sounds like a really wide split, we achieved that using different base oil technologies mm -hmm. so we don't have to rely on the viscosity index improver molecules right and the ones we do use are more shear stable okay so you don't have that effect yep and it lasts longer yeah absolutely so that's the short and the long answer yeah i guess so i tried, I tried not to get too techy but it happened anyway. i think it was right on man thank you so much thanks bob appreciate, appreciate it, it.